Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez and here I am filming a video for a quick and easy card um, and this is for the holiday so the new catalog is um, it's already launched and I wanted to show this is stamp set. I like this um, sentiment a lot. I love when stamping up those, um, <clears throat> sorry, some um, mix of the font so i love this one particularly and what i really like is that it is huge as you can see it here so the other stamp set that i'm going to be using to pair it is the candy cane season so this one is merry christmas to all there is um a coordinating frame weights with this one so you can get it as a bundle and what is really cool about that one before i move on is that you can die cut the words <laughs> So here we go. So you have Christmas, holidays, merry, and happy. So really nice. And this one is a Merry Christmas thing list. So you can get them as a bundle. Of course, you can save 10%. I'm not using the letters of stamp. I'm focusing on this, on this sentiment. And um, this one also is a bundle, of course. You know me. Um, but this one has a punch, a coordinating punch. And it's this one. So you can see it here. There we go. And um, so this was the, this one is the candy cane seasons. But for this one, I'm actually gonna be using these leaves, the holy leaves. So anyway, so let's get it started. Here's the paper that I am using today. And the design series paper is actually not from the holiday catalog, but from the annual catalog. This is a design series paper that came on the annual catalog called Under the Mistletoe Design Series Paper. And as usual, I always use uh, the back so I can tell what the colors I want to be using. So you can see here Early Espresso, Old Olive in Real Red, as well as Shaded Espresso, which are the colors that I'm going to be using today. And <clears throat> you can see how nice this paper pack is very uh very Christmassy, so i i just love it okay so now let's just go over measurements real quick as usual so i have old Ole for my card base and this one is eight and a half by five and a half and as always just fold it in half and we're gonna be using our bone folder to make sure you have a crisp nice fold um, then I have a piece of early espresso, and this one is four and one quarter by three and one quarter. Let me see. Yes, four and one quarter by three and one quarter. So it, this one will go like so. Then I have a piece of whisper white, and this one is four by three. And as usual, it's a quarter of an inch smaller, so I can have a nice frame around it. And I have a piece, a very little piece that is one inches by three. Um, of the coordinating design series paper. Again, my focus point is gonna be the sentiment. So let's just get it started with that, okay? I'm gonna be stamping the sentiment in uh, early espresso. <clears throat> so I have here early espresso. You know, let's just go ahead. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and honestly, I think this one might be one of those great ones that you can put in the stamparatus and just go over and over and over to make a gazillion of these. Don't you think? Because look at this. I mean, just by itself, it just looks gorgeous. Then I'm going to have the leaves and I'm going to be using old, old, old olive, as I said. So I'm just going to put it like so. And I'm going to be closing colors because I don't want to be getting colors all over the place. And then I'm going to be using the detail of the leaves. And I'm going to be using the shaded spruce. And hold on for a second because I need to kind of see where I am stamping. And there you go. I love that it's photopolymer so you can see. So it kind of gives me a shadow. Is that not gorgeous? I think it is. So anyway, so I have that. And then that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, really. And then we're going to be putting adhesive to 
the design series paper. And there we go. And then we're going to be adding I'm going to be going this to my um, early espresso. Here we go. I'm going to put it here. <clears throat> and I want to use this one, which is not on the holiday catalog, but I thought it would be really nice. And this one is the solid ribbon, and it's one eighth. Um, is one eighth a uh, solid ribbon and it is the real red so we're gonna be doing a tiny bow because I wanted to put I was debating between a bow or putting some little rhinestones you know we have those red rhinestones and so I thought why not however I thought a bow will be better plus i haven't really used this at all and see that i think it adds a lot and i'm just going to be pulling and pulling and um we're going to be cutting here oh and there we go so now i'm going to be adding a glue dot And voila, that's it. So now I'm just gonna be adding some dimensionals, of course. You know me by now. Oh, I only have a scrap right now. So let's just use all my scraps. Um, you can tell you can't use there we go. let's just put those. In all the corners. Oh, I should have put more of those, like so. And I'm going to be adding some here in the middle. I probably just need to finish all this, you know, since that way I can just finish this. And let's just peel all the backings. Always use everything on your dimensionals. I mean, it has adhesive, so why wouldn't you use it, right? So always, always use the whole thing. And let me put my trash can. I don't want these little things going everywhere. All right. And then we're gonna put it like so here. And voila, what do you think, huh? I think that this one is very simple, very nice, but you can make a gazillion of these of no time. So, love it. Um, and like I said, you can add some rhinestones if you want. I only wanted to feature this uh, real red ribbon because I haven't used it and I thought it will go really well since I have this real red design series paper. So anyway, so thank you so much for joining me. Again, as usual, don't forget about my ordering um, incentive where whenever you purchase anything from my um, online store using the hostess code, you get the card kit in the mail and you get everything. Um, the paper, the embellishments, um, anything that you need to complete your project. And uh, if your order is $50 or more, you also get the accessory of the month. Now, one thing, to get the hostess code, uh, make sure you visit my blog at creatingwithally.com, where every post will have the current um, hostess code. So, anyway, I'll put the description, I'll put the links um, in the description of this video so that you can see what products I use. And I'll hope to see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.